is up YouTube? Josh here from Game Hunters R Us. Um, so I'm on my way into Toronto. There is another um, kind of like a video game swap or like a toy swap happening in uh, Scarborough in Toronto. Um, so I know a couple of few, a couple of other uh, YouTubers are going to be there. So I figured I would uh, make the truck out and uh, have a look, see, and see what's going on on this end of the of. Uh, of the town, I guess you could say. Uh, not that I'm in Toronto, but I'm not too far out, so it's about an hour trek for me, which isn't that bad, really. And I know a lot of people from Toronto always come out to uh, the Waterloo video game swap, so this is just my chance to kind of come out this way for a change. So hopefully, I'll meet a bunch of YouTubers. My plan is to uh, film a heck of a whole lot, and uh, then I'll share with you everything at the end. Uh, so I'll see you guys when we get there. Alright everyone, so we made it. Uh, I only missed my turn once, or my exit once, so uh, overall not too bad, I'm terrible with directions. Um, but I made it, I can. I think I recognize someone's car. Um, but uh, hopefully I can find the place. There's like a few buildings, I gotta figure out which one it is. Uh, but it shouldn't be too bad, so I will see you guys inside. <laughs> Chris, this guy's out here. All right, everyone, so we just left the uh, GTA toy and video game swap uh, or expo or whatever you want to call it. Um, really good show. I came out with a lot of stuff, so I uh, look forward to that in the upcoming pickup video. Um, <clears throat> currently going to go out and grab something to eat with uh, Bowser's Fart Sack and uh, Canadian Retro. Go out and, and fuel our bodies after uh, a long day of video games. <laughs> Well everyone, I am back home, uh, so I had a great time at the uh, GTA uh, video game and toy swap meet sale, I guess whatever you want to call it. Uh, I had a great time, uh, ended up hanging out with uh, Canadian Retro and another YouTuber uh, whose uh, YouTube name is Bowser's, Bowser's Fart Sack. Uh, it's pretty pretty big mouthful there, uh, don't take that the wrong way. but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, had a great time with them, um, hanging out. I bought a bunch of stuff and traded, actually I traded a lot and uh, sold some stuff and actually walked out only spending about $20 uh, of my own money. So uh, let's uh, let's jump into what I got here. Uh, so first up, 
walked into the into the uh, swap you can see there from the video it's not it wasn't a huge setup but uh, definitely nice and I guess an intimate space and you can kind of do the rounds a couple of times and uh, definitely get the feel for the whole thing I did I did end up staying the whole the whole time and hanging out with uh, Bowser's fart sack and uh, Canadian retro after and uh, I'll say a bit more about that at the end but uh, anyways I, I, I saw Bowser's fart sack first off and I went to go see him he was set up beside Canadian retro and I uh, was looking through some of his games and uh, by the way he is like the coolest dude ever like honestly I can't I can't thank you enough man like honestly I had a great time and uh, the deals you gave me were just flat out amazing uh, so huge shout out to you and make your own friggin channel already we're tired of seeing all the games in person and not sharing them with the world so everybody else go and harass the shit out of him and make him do a channel um, anyways I got, uh, I looked through his PS2 games and I saw this one, it's actually one I've been kind of interested in for a while, and uh, it's Stretch Panic for the PS2. Uh, kind of a weird title, um, you kind of have these arms and you like grab things and stretch it and then like snaps back and kills enemies. Um, very, very strange. I believe this was on uh, one of Game Sack's uh, recommended, I don't know, PS2 games or whatever you want to call it, uh, from what I remember. Uh, he had a price of uh, 14 bucks on that, but uh, he saw me pick it up and he's like, you know what, man, you can have it for five bucks. You know, really appreciate the work you're doing on the channel, and this is just my token of my appreciation. So uh, that's awesome. Thank you very much, man. Really appreciate it. Been looking for that game for a while. Um, I actually I got a lot of stuff. Um, next, I did a trade uh, with again Bowser's Fart Sack again. Um, I won't say what I gave him, but uh, <clears throat> it was something he was looking for. And uh, in return, I got a bunch of cartridge-based games that I probably would never, ever find normally. Um, so the first one I got was uh, Fester's Quest for the NES. Uh, I've really been looking for that one, actually. It's, I know, it's, again, not good. AVGN special. Uh, he had that for 7 bucks, but again, prices didn't really matter at this point. Uh, he was just hooking me up with a great deal, so again, I really appreciate it. And uh, Time Lord. Is that the other one? Uh, cool, I don't know anything about this game, but uh, it looks cool. And then I also got these Super Nintendo games. The first one is Dennis the Menace. Uh, I've heard stuff about this game, but again, I don't know a whole lot about it. Actually, most of these I don't know about. Um, this one I know a bit about, uh, Left of the Unlikely. Um, I forget where I heard about it. This might have been an AVGN episode as well. Uh, I can't remember, but uh, I saw that one. Uh, again, it's a terrible game, but one I was interested in getting. Uh, this one, again, don't know anything about it. So if you know anything about these games, leave a comment down below. Give me a heads up on what I'm in for. Uh, Weapon Lord for the Super Nintendo. Looks pretty cool. At least the cover art looks cool, but that doesn't really mean anything. Uh, and this one is really cool. I actually just watched the AVGN episode on this, on the NES version. Um, which obviously I don't want to get that one. So I saw the Super Nintendo one, I was like, yeah, I'll probably get this one. And it's uh, Dragon's Lair. Really cool. Uh, really looking forward to playing that. Uh, so that was all the trade with uh, Bowser's Fart Sack. Thank you again, man. That was awesome. I really appreciate you hooking me up with a great deal. Um, I can't, I honestly can't thank you enough. And Canadian Retro. Honestly, so much fun. <laughs> And for not even knowing I was going to go, like, I just kind of decided last minute, like, the night before, like, you know what, I'll get up and I'll go, and I'm, honestly, it was one of the best weekends I've had for a while, so, especially with school, like, it was nice to just take a break and go look at some video games. Uh, next I went to another vendor, and, uh, it was the same vendor from the Waterloo Video Games swap that sold me the Star Fox in box, uh, Star Fox 64. And uh, I bought a Game Gear game off him then too, and he recognized me and said, Hey man, I got more Game Gear games. Uh, so, again, I'm not super collecty for the Game Gear as much as I love the system. Uh, people just want a lot of money for their games, uh, and they're really just not worth anything. But uh, anyways, he knew I wanted them, and he just said, You know what, if you have any silver coins in your pocket, you can have it. So I pulled out a quarter, and I gave him, uh, I gave him 50 cents for these two games. Uh, the first one is Fred Couples Golf, again, not a huge thing. I don't know, I'm considering going for a full set of the Game Gear games, but uh, not entirely convinced on it yet, but 
it's an idea. And another copy of World Series Baseball. Actually a lot of fun on the Game Gear. I liked it. Uh, I already have that, so it's a double. But uh, again, who really wants it? Uh, so yeah, I got those. That was pretty awesome. Uh, he kind of had like a, I guess it was a scratch and dent style. Um, he had this game, he had it marked for a dollar, and uh, he said it was a bit scratched up and he just wanted to get rid of it. So again, 25 cents for this game, and that's uh, Men in Black 2 Alien Escape. Uh, again, I know nothing about the game. It is complete, and actually, from the looks of it, like it's scratched, but I have PS1 games that are scratched more than this thing, and, it, it'll, and they play, so I'm sure this will play. Uh, so can't really go wrong with that. Uh, again, scratch and dent sale. He had a new Super Mario Bros. Wii. He had that for eight bucks. You see that, but it also says untested. So again, it was uh, scratched. And from what I can tell, it's really not that bad. Um, I think my version of this game is scratched more than this, so I'm pretty sure it will work. Um, he said. Yeah, it's marked for 8 bucks. He said, I'll probably even take less for that because I don't even know if it works or not. So uh, I looked around and I saw another game I've, been, I've kind of been eyeing up for a bit. A lot of other vendors had this for $10. He had it for 6 uh, And it's the Legendary Starfy on the DS. I heard this is kind of like a, a hidden gem on the DS, so I've been looking to pick it up. I, but didn't want to spend $10 on it, obviously. Uh, so I basically picked them both up and I said, would you do uh, 10 for both? And he looked and he said, yeah, that's fine. So, uh, awesome deal there. Um, you're probably saying, Josh, you already have this game. Why are you getting it again? Uh, but if you remember, my my copy is just in a red case and disc only. Uh, this is just disc only as well, but it also has the proper cover for it. So, I figured for the five buck five dollar upgrade, and I can turn around and sell mine for I guess ten bucks or whatever, and I can just recoup my cost completely on that and have a complete or semi complete copy of uh, New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Um, which is always worth it in my in my books. Um, later, near the end of the show, for the same from the same vendor, he came up to me. I honestly, I spent most of my money at that point, and uh, or most of my trades at that point. I I haven't gotten everything, but I'm just I'm separating everything kind of by vendor. Um, he came up to me and said, I don't know if you're interested in this, but I just want to get rid of it. It's uh, Mission Impossible on the N64. Uh, he had five bucks on it. I don't know if you can see that. But whatever, uh, five bucks on that. Uh, I said, you know what? I got three bucks on my pocket. If you take three for it, I'll, I'll take it off you. And he said, sure, that's no problem. So, again, uh, really nice guy too. Um, he drives quite a way to come to the show, so uh, glad to help him out. Really nice guy, like I said. So um, maybe I'll see him at, at swaps too. Um, from Canadian Retro, uh, really, again, one of the coolest guys you'll ever meet in person. I uh, had a lot of fun hanging out with him and uh, going around to vendors and kind of making fun of their prices because they're just some of the vendors were just ridiculously overpriced. Um, I know Canadian Retro was looking at like Chrono Trigger and the guy wanted almost $300 for a complete in box, which is uh, a little ridiculous there. But uh, I looked over uh, Canadian Retro stuff and uh, I picked out a couple of games I was interested in. And the first one is the triple pack for Mario Bros. Mario Bros. Duck Hunt and World Class Track Meet. Uh, I don't have this copy and I don't ever see it, so he had it for five bucks. So yeah, I'm gonna grab that for him. And <clears throat> near the end of the night or the end of the day, he was just trying to grab stuff. And uh, unintentionally, I didn't really know that Bowser's Fart Sack really wanted this from him as well. But uh, you know what? I told him, "You snooze, you lose." And as much as you're a nice guy, you gotta you gotta jump on the deals when you can find them. Um, so I did a trade with Canadian Retro for uh, a boy in his blob, the NES. Uh, and if you want to see what I traded him, you can go check out Canadian Retro's channel. I'm sure he'll have a video up uh, already, if not soon. And then at the end of the night, he essentially just gave me Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban for the GameCube for free. Uh, he just kind of looked at me and said, do you want this? And I said, I always take freebies. <laughs> so uh, yeah, he just handed that over to me. So thank you very much, man. Like I said, a lot of fun hanging out, <clears throat> doing deals, and uh, and uh, just talking in general. Really, both really cool guys to hang out with. Uh, now onto the big purchases of the day, and it's not even purchases really. One is a purchase, one is a trade. I went to um, 
one of the booths that was, again, one of the more overpriced booths, um, and saw they had this game. And this is one I've been looking for for quite a long time for the Super Nintendo, and I, I think a lot of people are, really. Um, but uh, I obviously didn't have the cash for it. So I went to my car, and I brought a bunch of trade stuff with me. Uh, brought out a bunch of stuff, <clears throat> handed it to him. Uh, he kind of looked her over. Uh, we kind of worked out a deal for some trade credit, and I traded for this, and it is Turtles in Time for the Super Nintendo uh, in one of these, like, custom cases. Now, this one really isn't in that great a shape. Like, the cover's kind of bubbled up. I don't know if you can maybe see that. I don't know how the camera's going to react. Um, and it looks like someone did a back swap on it. Like, the colors don't match. Uh, and they put, like, a Kevin put his name on it. Um, I don't know why you would swap out the back from a really good game. I don't know, maybe someone thought their NHL 95 was needed a better back on it and decided to swap it with Turtles in Time, like, go figure. But, um, really been looking forward to that one. Um, so really happy to get it. However, the label did kind of turn me off of it. I, I, got, I was really excited and I was really happy to get it. Um, but there was another vendor that had it as well. And <clears throat> he had it for the same price as this guy did. And I had some money left over from my buying and selling and trading uh, that I did at the show. And I basically, near the end of the night, um, and again, I only put like, I, I sold, I, the stuff I bought, I only bought for roughly like $20. Um, and then I sold it and, and made about most of it back and was able to buy another copy uh, of Turtles in Time. And this one is in much better shape. So, um, again, the money that I put into this, I, I maybe put like 40 bucks total, uh, not even that, maybe even like $30 to the stuff that I traded and got two copies of Turtles in Time. Uh, so really happy about that. And this label is in much better shape. Kevin's name is on the back. Um, so I'll be swapping this one with uh, the one in there and keeping the case and obviously a good one. And uh, I believe Canadian Retro kind of has first dibs on that one, if you can find up, come up with a trade. Um, fast enough I guess um, but yeah that was my day and uh, for for not even planning on going I, I may I think I made it like a bandit <laughs> so uh, then yeah after the show I mean Canadian Retro and Bowser's Fart Sack and I we all went off we went to we went to go get some food and I uh, went to like this really crappy bar that ended up being like a regulars bar and we did not fit in at all uh, so we just kind of <clears throat> drank our beer and then we just kind of left <laughs> And I uh, went and grabbed some burgers, so I uh, had a great time. We ended up just sitting at the restaurant and just talking for like two hours. I uh, had a great time. So, again, check out Canadian Retro if you haven't. If you watch my channel and don't even know who Canadian Retro is, go and sub to his channel. One of the coolest guys. Uh, go sub to Bowser's Fart Sack and make, force him to make a channel to, uh, to see what he picks up, because he got some really cool stuff to show. I mean, one of the, deal one of the biggest deals I've ever seen go down live, he did. Uh, he sold some incredible stuff, and uh, yeah, I think his, he would really make a really cool channel. Um, so, I mean, if you're interested, go and just subscribe to him, even though he doesn't have a channel. And uh, maybe more subscribers will make him uh, feel pressured. So, <laughs> But yeah, two stand-up guys, uh, thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, thanks for sticking around and watching this whole video, uh, if you did. And uh, if you're ever in the area, come to the chum. Uh, come check out the Waterloo Video Game Swap or the GTA Toy and Video Game Sale. Um, let me know if you're in the area. We can go game hunting or whatever. A uh, lot of fun. So, like I said, thanks for sticking around, and I'll see you guys next time.